Welcome into LAFC Weekly, presented by CarMax. I am Max Bretos. This is the show that gets you up close and personal to all things black and gold. The sport of soccer, football. You play with your feet with one exception, the goalkeeper. It would shortchange them to say that they are there just to stop shots. There is so much more to it. You have to lead, you have to organize, you could be heavily involved, or you could be a spectator for 30 minutes. It takes a certain breed of player, and we have a really good group here at the club from goalkeeper coach Oka Nikolov, starter Hugo Loris, backup Abraham Romero, LAFC two keeper David Ochoa. They are this week's topic of Behind the Crest, presented by CarMax. You are part of a team, but you play kind of your own sport. It feels sometimes lonely, but you have to be focused. You have to bring so much qualities as a goalkeeper. You have to be in a build-up, you have to be good with your feet, you have to be a good shot stopper, you have to be a sweeper now, and um, yeah, it's, it's a hard job. Everywhere you go, uh, you know, uh, in uh, every team, there is always a, a group of players, the goalkeepers. Most of the days, we, are, we have always a, a short or medium session together before to be integrated to the team. We have our specific work and uh, there is a great atmosphere, to be honest. Okay. He's got a, a great experience, but also um, he's got the human approach. He's, uh, he's really positive and um, try to bring uh, the best uh, towards uh, his goalkeepers. I think Oka's method of coaching with me has been, uh, I would almost say, like a father figure. He's been very strict those first two years. He's given me a lot of advice that I think I could have or I should have gotten when I was younger. I don't think I'm that hard. I just try to help because you said it, it's hard work. If somebody wants to play every Saturday in our stadium, in BMO Stadium, have to work hard. Sometimes I might be hard, but I just try to help them to get the best out of them. Everyone has made me feel comfortable from day one, and it's an honor to, to get to work you know, next to Google and then learn from Oka. So I'm very happy, happy to be here. We are together, you know, uh, we like to talk, we like uh, uh, to chat about uh, goalkeepers and uh, so that's, that's really good, really positive. Yeah. My bad, my bad. You're right, you're right. Being part of LEFC also, there is, um, I need to think about myself because I, I want to, to stay competitive, but also I want uh, to share my experience and I want to give back to football, you know, what I received during many, many years. So that's why I'm really open to talk uh, with AB and, and David because the relation is really, is really natural and um, there is a lot of, they, they have a lot of questions and, and, and I think uh, it's good, you know, to chat. Our daily work, who goes see stuff what Abraham is doing wrong or try to help them, like give suggestions. He's basically uh, my assistant coach on, on those trainings so we have a lot from Hugo like on the field to win trophies but also on the training field to develop our young goalkeepers. With Hugo I try to absorb everything I can. He's done everything, he's been everywhere, he's won everything that you would want to win as a goalkeeper really. He's had an amazing career and I can't say anything but good things about him. He's given me a piece of advice even when I don't ask for it he's always they're telling me like, hey, you could try this, try that, this might work for you. It's been a privilege to just be with him day in and day out and see how much of a professional he is and how much he takes care of his own body and how, how he's performed because I think he's had some very, very solid performances uh, so far this season. Yeah, no, it's very, very cool to, to learn from him, you know, pick his brain a little bit. I'm always asking him questions. On the field, obviously, there's a lot of things you can learn from him, whether it's communication, build out, even shot stopping. I mean, this guy, is, he knows a lot, and you know, he's a very good goalkeeper. So, like I said, it's an honor to work with him. There is a kind of transmission, you know, that, uh, that you want to, to make and uh, with the right people. And, um, and I think this is 
this is what I found, you know, uh, right, uh, right here. You know, and, um, so, but again, it's very natural, and, uh, and I'm really enjoying the, this time. For me, it's important that um, that they always give 100%. Like they, they put the work in, and um, with those three, I have no problems. They put hard work in it. They're good guys. They're good to the to the group, and um, that makes me happy. So so far, I can't complain. Coming up on LAFC Weekly, presented by CarMax, we go inside Sergi Palencia's journey to the black and gold. LAFC Weekly is presented by CarMax, official used car retailer of LAFC, by BMO, official bank of LAFC, and by Pacific Office Automation. We have your office game plan. Welcome back to LAFC Weekly presented by CarMax. Barcelona, one of the biggest names in the world of football. And in case you haven't noticed, there's been a bit of a Barca takeover here at Major League Soccer. Over in Miami, the arrival of Lionel Messi, Sergio Busquets, and Jordi Alba. But we like our Barcelona guys here at LAFC, the great Ilya Sanchez and Sergi Palencia, who in his short time here with the club has immersed himself with LAFC and also with Life in America. Sergi Palencia is this week's player profile presented by Rockstar Energy Drink. Hola, soy Sergi Palencia, defensa del AFC. Soy de Barcelona. Mi carrera profesional la empecé en el Barcelona en segunda división, en el Barcelona B, en el segundo equipo. Cuando tenía 18 años, fue una temporada complicada, pero tuve la oportunidad de debutar y pues ya jugué tres años en el mismo equipo, en el Barcelona B. Tuve la posibilidad de hacer pretemporada y jugar algún partido con el primer equipo, experiencia de la que no me olvidaré nunca. Después de ahí me fui cedido a Francia, al Girondins de Burdeos, después traspasado al Santetien, de ahí también otra vez a España, al Leganés y ahora aquí. Han sido una ruta con bastantes etapas y bastantes países diferentes, pero una ruta enriquecedora de la que me siento muy orgulloso y de la que estoy muy contento de poder estar continuando aquí en, en Los Ángeles. Pues desde el primer momento la experiencia aquí en Los Ángeles ha sido espectacular. Fue muy fácil el adaptarme aquí y disfrutar de la temporada que tuvimos el año pasado. Prefiero valorar que llegamos a muchísimas finales, que competimos por todo, que jugamos más de 50 partidos, que no es fácil, que tuvimos a toda la gente sana para la final de la MLS Cup, pero con muchas ganas también de, de superarnos este año y de seguir eh, llevando a LAFC donde, donde se merece, que es siempre a lo, a lo más alto y donde queremos aspirar y queremos mirar. Mi estilo de juego lo describiría como intensidad, concentración y compromiso. Durante los años cada uno pues, intenta mejorar lo que sabe que es un poco más su debilidad. Pues, mi objetivo siempre ha sido ese, intentando convertirme en el jugador más completo posible poner el estilo de LAFC en el campo y, y ser superiores siempre al, al rival. Sin duda uno de los momentos favoritos de mi carrera y yo creo que también fue uno de los que marcó mi carrera fue cuando logramos ascender a segunda división con el Barcelona B. Eso fue un momento muy importante para mi futuro y para el futuro de mis compañeros porque eso te lleva a jugar contra grandes rivales en los que puedes crecer mucho y ese fue un gran momento con el que yo me quedaría. Siempre a cualquier jugador le gusta jugar contra sus ídolos o contra personas que siempre ha tenido como referentes y la verdad que ese partido contra Jordi Alba fue muy especial, ya lo conocía. Una de las razones por las que también lo tengo como referente es por su comportamiento como persona. Cuando yo subía a entrenar con el primer equipo, él siempre 
tanto él como Busi, como Leo, como todos los que están, como Luis Suárez, ahora que están allá, no solo son grandes jugadores, sino también grandes compañeros y yo la verdad que el trato que he tenido con ellos cuando he tenido la oportunidad fue excelente. Pero la ciudad aquí es fantástica. El sol, la temperatura, cuando he estado en, en ciudades que han sido buenas, pero el clima no acompaña tanto, es, siempre estás un poco más limitado y no te apetece tanto hacer ciertas cosas, pero aquí eso es totalmente diferente y disfrutar del, del buen tiempo, de la playa, de zonas más de ciudad. Me aficioné a la NFL y la verdad que es una cosa de las que más me ha impresionado. Intentar acudir a, pues a partidos de básquet, a partidos de fútbol americano, a partidos de hockey, a todo, todo a diferentes variedades de deportes que aquí tenemos. Sobre todo comer también es una de, de mis grandes pasiones. Como deportista hay que ir controlando. Yo creo que esta ciudad te da un poquito todo lo que, lo que yo busco como para los hobbies que yo tengo. Coming up on LAFC Weekly, presented by CarMax. We relive Gareth Bale's most iconic moments with the black and gold. Welcome back to LAFC Weekly, presented by CarMax. Gareth Bale, as they would say, he was here for a cup of coffee. Not a lot of games, just 14 overall and two starts. But what an impact he made that will never be forgotten thanks to what occurred in the 2022 MLS Cup Final. Coming off the bench, playing 23 minutes, the goal that would force penalty kicks, which we will talk about here in a moment. He was a great one, and he had his great moment with the black and gold. Gareth Bale, this week's Call Jacob Iconic Player. Now I can um, I can play my part and take this club hopefully to the next level. And like we all say, our main goal is to, to try and win a, and a trophy, a championship, and um, we'll give everything we can to do that. LAFC find a way back in. Elie to Palacios to the byline. Palacios. Coming up on LAFC Weekly, presented by CarMax, we relive every penalty kick from the 2022 MLS Cup Final. LAFC Weekly is presented by CarMax, official used car retailer of LAFC, by BMO, official bank of LAFC, and by Auto Collision Group, 
official auto collision center of LAFC. Welcome back to LAFC Weekly presented by CarMax. The penalty shootout. Yeah, I know, it gets a reaction. When games haven't been determined, this is what we turn to to get a result. While it is a bit archaic, it is what it is. And by the way, no one's come up with a better idea. But everyone gets nervous and it's impossible to put your finger on how these will turn out. Certainly the goalkeeper plays a role. The penalty takers play a role, the coach who decides who takes the penalties, the people behind the scenes who get the data to see if players kick it left or right, it goes on and on. It came down to penalties in the 2022 MLS Cup, and nobody could have envisioned who the man of the hour would be. A backup goalkeeper who would make two saves and force another attempt over the crossbar. We relive all the 2022 penalty kicks from MLS Cup. It is this week's Classic Club Moment, presented by Remitly.
That's all the time we have for this week, I am afraid, but a reminder to come out to an LAFC game at BMO Stadium. Go to LAFC.com for all the details. And until then, this is Max Pareto saying, let's go, black and gold. Oh, no, 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 no.